So in this video we're going to talk about the six main types of bone. We have long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, sesamoid bones and sutural bones. So let's start with the first one. Long bones are longer than they are wide and they have uh, two ends which are located here and uh, a shaft here in the middle which is also known as a diaphesis and this is what contains the bone marrow. These rounded ends at the top of the long bones are called epiphysis and they're covered with articular cartilage. The epiphysis is where we find the red bone marrow which is responsible for blood cell production, red blood cell production. So examples of long bones include most of the limb bones like the femur and the tibia. Then we have short bones which you can see here and these are the same width and length so they kind of look like cubes and examples of short bones are in the wrist they're called carpals and in the ankles they're called tarsals. These are examples of short bones. Flat bones are quite thin and they are broad in shape so you can find these bones where we need to have protection of the underlying organs or where we need that broad kind of shape for muscular attachment. So the sternum for protection, the ribs for also for protection and the scapula which is where we have attachment of muscles. This for the shoulder blades. Irregular bones um, are another type. They are with a unique and complex shape. They're usually short, flat, ridged, and they're quite unique to the location that they're actually in. So this can include several bones of the skull. The vertebra, the hip bones are all examples of irregular bones. Sesamoid bones, they're named like this because they look like sesame seeds. They're small and flat. An example of sesamoid bones include the patella. Sesamoid bones actually develop inside the tendons. So they're usually found near joints, at the knees, the hands and the feet. And uh, the last type of bone we're going to talk about today are sutural bones. So these are small, flat and irregular shaped. And you'll find sutural bones uh, usually between the flat bones of the skull and they have varying shapes and sizes.